Well, I think it was wrong to withdraw from the European search and rescue uh, program, and I think that needs to be restarted as soon as possible. I think the British government was wrong to argue that somehow the search and rescue operations uh, were encouraging people to travel. We've seen desperate people trying to make this perilous journey and more people have been coming since those search and rescue operations stopped. Why isn't this the immigration scandal you have been banging on about every day? Ed Miliband did a speech this week, he didn't mention it. There's no mention of it in the Labour manifesto. Look at your Twitter feeds. You never seem to mention the refugees drowning off the coast of Italy. All you do is talk about wanting to control immigration. I think if you look at my Twitter feed, Christian, you will find that I have made several comments about this and how urgently it is needed to restore the search and rescue program. I argued for this in October of last year when the government called for its removal. Uh, we argued in Parliament that it should be continued because there was a, the argument that was coming at that time from the British government was that somehow that by withdrawing the program that would deter people from travelling. In simple yes or no terms, would there be more African refugees coming to Britain or African migrants coming to Britain if you were in power and, and, and you supported the resumption of these rescue patrols? Yes or no? We would be taking more people through the UN programme to help Syrian refugees, the most vulnerable refugees who are in the camps. But the uh, issue in terms of the uh, dealing with the boats across the Mediterranean would need to continue to be dealt with in the first country that they arrive in. So you'd leave them in Italy? I think, look, I think this is about Europe working together to provide support in the country that people arrive in. But we do think particularly more should be done to help Syria. But look, if we don't make sure that the search and rescue operations take place, then you will have people dying in the Mediterranean. That is the most urgent thing. People are currently being left to drown because the search and re rescue operations have been withdrawn. The British government is currently not supporting those search and rescue operations. That, I think, is the most urgent humanitarian uh, thing that needs to take place. Of course, you know, Britain has always provided sanctuary for people who come fleeing persecution. It is right we should continue to do so, but also to do more as part of the UN programme, particularly to help the vulnerable uh, people who are in the camps in Syria. Would you send British ships to the Mediterranean to start rescuing these boat people? I don't think that's what's needed because this is the Mediterranean waters and you, there was an EU search and rescue programme that was in place. This should be done by but all it's not, Europe working is it, is together. The point. It, it, well, people are dying day by day. If you were in power, would you send British ships to go and save lives? I think the imperative at the moment is for to get the EU system restored. The British government is part of that. It is part of supporting the EU search and rescue scheme. So we aren't separate from the EU. We are part of the EU and we should be urging the EU and arguing across the EU to get the search and rescue programme reinstated. At the moment, the British government was arguing in October, you had Theresa May and David Cameron arguing in Europe that the rescue scheme should be stopped. That's what the position that they were trying to persuade other European and countries of that is wrong it is deeply wrong and so that is that should be reversed immediately we know that other countries are deeply troubled by what is happening we know that Italy has asked for help we know that France is concerned we know that Malta is concerned so I think the immediate imperative is for the British government to be working with all of these other European countries to now get a change in the EU Council's position that is the swiftest way to get support reinstated for the Italians across the Mediterranean to try and save lies. When you have desperate people making a perilous journey, we should not be leaving people to drown at sea in order to deter others from travelling. And that is the position that EU has currently taken. We also need to be doing more to get stability in the region and provide aid in the region in order to prevent people from travelling and in order to tackle some of the gangs and the people smugglers who are putting people's lives at risk. This isn't an easy answer on any of this. And we should all recognise that. But I do think more needs to be done immediately because at the moment, six months ago, EU governments took the wrong decision and that needs to be reversed.